I'll, I'll admit, I've talked a big game about Kaya. I've talked a big game about how smart she is. I've talked about how intelligent she is. She's a she's not just a regular old dog. She's like, she has her dog PhD, that sort of thing. And I'm wrong. I'm so f***ing wrong, dude. I was so goddamn wrong. Bro, last night, you know, we, we're hanging out, whatever. She never pees inside the house. She never poops inside the house. It's awesome, right? And I'm feeling great. And then there is a false notion of safety that like, oh, Maybe she is a good girl. Maybe she's a different dog now. Maybe she learned, like, you know what I mean? She's about to hit month three. She's about to complete her third month of being alive. And it's like a lie, okay? It is just a total f***ing lie. I take her out, as always, before I crate her at night. I take her out, try to get her to pee. She doesn't. And she had peed before. So I was like, all right, she's not going to pee. Put her in the crate. Go to sleep. Randomly wake up at like 1 a.m., as I often do now, because it's a part of who I am. Okay, but well, I'm gonna fix the camera. So I wake up at 1 a.m. thinking, uh, you know, it's fine. She doesn't need to pee any at all. And I start hearing drip, drip, drip. I start hearing water noises. And let me tell you, I'm not near a goddamn stream. You know what I mean? It's not raining outside. Oh no, that's right. Kaya got up when I got up just to piss in her crate. Yeah, all this designer got me drip, drip is what she said. And just straight pissed in her crate dude absolutely ruining the streak the hot streak that she was on i take her outside now it's 1 a.m and i have to sit there and like clean her crate with like anti-piss uh spray she's outside in the balcony i leave her out there for time out because i like because when you punish a dog you have to do it immediately if she had pissed and i was sleeping i was i wouldn't be able to punish her you don't punish a dog for pissing law what yes you are what are you talking Shut the f up. Yes, a dog should know that they are not supposed to be pissing in their f***ing crate or inside of the house. Shut up. That doesn't mean you like beat the shit out of them, but it just means like, you know, they should know when they're doing something wrong. The balcony is actually great for her. Like she could literally sleep out there if she wants to because it's cold, right? And this is a f***ing mountain dog and she wants the cold anyway. Crate is too big if they're going to the bathroom in it. No, the crate is, you're right about that. I actually did make the crate size a little bit larger so she's more comfortable. But this dog does not give a shit. She will piss and then lay in her piss. I clean up, I go back to sleep. I'm like, you know, sleep out there, have fun. Because the balcony is not like a fun environment. It's like confined. It's perfect. It's like large. She has her pee pad on there. Like not her pee pad, but like she has the turf on there. So she can go pee and shit wherever she wants to. And also, she's it's cold, right? But of course, she hates it. She hates that shit because she's not next to me. So like, then she starts crying. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna let her in. I'm not gonna let her in. I'm not gonna let her in. I can't cave to her crying, right? But she just kept crying for like an hour. So then I put her in a different balcony, far away. And then she cried a little bit there too. But actually, that one was a major success. She stopped crying after a while. So then when she stopped crying, I brought her back in. This is what I was doing from like 1 to 3 a.m. First of all, yeah, they need to know the meaning of no. They need to know the meaning of enough. These are weapons in your arsenal uh, when you're training a dog. For example, a lot of dogs get really riled up when they're playing, especially when they're puppies. If they're getting really bitey, if they're getting really nippy, and you can't control them, okay, one thing you have to do is put them in timeout. Like you have to put them in a confined space that's safe, that they can't like chew, but that's far away for like five minutes. If you don't do that, they're never gonna learn. You know what I mean? It's not just about like redirection, cause I do that. It's not just about positive reinforcement, which I do. You also have to do sometimes like actual enforcement. It's the same with kids. Waiting till she's quiet to let her in is positive reinforcement. Thank you, exactly. That's what you do. If she's crying, you don't respond. Because you don't want to train them to think every time I bark, he's going to come and pay attention to me. So when I'm bored and I want to be let out of the crate for no reason because I want fun time, I'm just going to bark. That's why I always try to differentiate between is this a piss bark, is this a shit bark, or it's simply because she's bored and wants to get out of the crate. Which is why, for example, you're not supposed to, for puppies, make piss time play time. And this is a little bit difficult while I'm streaming, but when I take Kaya out to take a piss, I'm not letting her play around too much because I don't want her to think like, oh, every time I bark, he's gonna let me outside and I can play with him and I can play by myself even if I want to. Refuse dog bed, sleeps on the floor and said, yeah, she's refusing the dog bed because the floor is colder. The floor is cooler. That's why she's going to get really big if she 
has all of these bad habits that she continues with, you know, it's going to actually be a problem. like a lizard person and his actions was literally no 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 he's no 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 oh that right there was not even a i have to pee really bad so i peed pee that was a I needed attention pee. Care to know the difference? It's because she didn't even pee all that much. She peed like a little driblet. That was a f you pee. That 100% was a f you pee because she's a little bitch. Okay? She's an absolute bitch. She peed a little bit, just a, just a tiny bit. You want to know why? Because I had just let her out to pee not that long ago. So she didn't even have that much pee in her body so when i took her outside immediately she had no piss left because she didn't actually have to pee where is she now she's dead i killed her no i put her in her crate hello i have another dog in here a much nicer dog Sorry, I had to put Fiona in there as well to see how this works out for them. I don't know if putting them in a confi confined space like this together is a good idea, but we're about to see how this works out. We interrupt this broadcast for a very special report. Fiona went in and immediately went for the f***ing chew toy, which I'm sure is going to bother Kaya. Kaya starts barking at Fiona to play. Fiona, on the other hand, being the old bitch that she is, is most likely not going to play with her. She has refused to play with her every single time. Now Kaya is taking the Chewy toy back, which Fiona will probably respond not kindly to. She has shown a little bit of toy aggression so far. I usually have to yell at Fiona and correct her behavior in times like this. Fiona is now going for a separate toy. That's a good thing. That's a good compromise, I think. Fiona did not like the secondary toy because the secondary toy does not have a Chew toy inside of it. Fiona is now looking around saying, what the f am I doing here? Why am I stuck in here? I'm not a little baby. Kaya not only has control over the chew toy, but wanted to play with Fiona, which allowed an opening for the chew toy. And now Fiona's going back to the chew toy itself. Smell in the tail. Fiona is taking advantage of this opportunity to chew on the chew toy. Fiona, of course, is an older dog, which is why she is usually very quick with the destruction of chew toys such as the one that takes a long time for kaya to go through yona yona there okay let's see i opened up a space for kaya to possibly go back and grab the chew toy will fiona correct this uh behavior yona yona there there the toy Fiona's looking up at me like what the f do you mean kaya's going in for the toy now fiona no Kaya, get the toy. Okay, I am changing the dynamic a little bit. Good girls, both of you. Good job. Sharing is caring. Hey. Girl. Kaya is now chewing on the chew toy instead. Fiona is looking around. I'll give him treats. Hold on. For her good behavior, Fiona gets a second fresh seven-inch bully stick. Premium dog chew. Kaya? No. Kaya. Kaya is now being inquisitive about the bully stick, which is leading to Fiona grabbing the other bully stick. So now there's two bully sticks. Kaya has now, in the most dominant way possible, taken the other bully stick. She is such a f***ing asshole. It blows my f***ing mind. Fiona, on the other hand, is a very submissive, wonderful, beautiful dog who doesn't engage in asshole behavior like Kaya because Fiona's not a asshole even though kaya is 
Bully sticks are made from bull penis? Yes, I know, and it smells like f***ing shit. But it also keeps these dogs occupied for literally hours on end. So I don't give a f At least they're being good together. They are. They, they don't actually have, uh, they don't actually have like legitimate problems with one another, but Kaya barks a lot. I actually don't know how to deal with that either. Like, I don't know how to train her not to bark at Fiona all day, every day. It's the Tibetan Mastiff instincts. They bark a lot. Yeah, I know. They're very loud. They're very vocal. They never shut the f up. Was fish as hard to train as a puppy? I actually don't remember because it's been so many years, but I think, I do think that Kaya is harder to train. I mean, look at this. Look at this asshole. Look, look. You see this? She's such a f asshole. Like, she is literally an asshole, dude. Yes, Kaya currently is trying to get Fiona to play, which was a big mistake because Fiona is now using this as an opportunity to eat the chew toy that Kaya had stolen originally. Now Kaya has stolen the other chew toy that Fiona was playing with. Now the chew toys have swapped once again. She's currently not barking because she's possessive over the chew toy. She does not give a f about the chew toy she does not have any toy aggression fiona does fiona is an older dog and she's developed some level of toy aggression kaya's barking because she wants to play fiona being an older dog does not want to play with kaya at all this is unfortunate fiona does not give kaya anything which is ironic because that's what chatters wanted me to do <laughs> chatters literally like why don't you respond to your dog when she's barking you animal uh guess what you're not supposed to and fiona's doing the right thing I would also want Fiona to maybe even bark more at Kaya and like scare her a little bit. But unfortunately, she doesn't do that. She's too submissive to do that. It's not in her personality. Fiona still growls at Kaya. She's doing it right now. You might not be able to hear it over the, over the noise gate, but Fiona was just growling at Kaya when Kaya got too close to her face. Kaya, being the little bitch that she is, is uh, bored of the attention she's not getting from Fiona and doing everything in her power. She will inevitably become a little bit more annoying and more of a nuisance. She's slowly but surely testing the boundaries, trying to see what she can get away with. Look, she's sticking her face into areas around. <laughs> she's so funny. She's so annoying but i love her so much it's it's hard i'm expecting fiona to literally turn around and like you know chomp at her a little bit if you move the bed out would they have more room to exist slightly next to each other rather than on top of one another no that's deliberate the bed is there to restrict her movement it's on purpose i'm doing it on purpose look look She's barking at Fiona, and Fiona is growling at her while still chewing the f***ing chew toy. Kaya is standing on top of Fiona, which Fiona is not liking. How is Kaya with Moran and the fam? Kaya is incredible with people, even though she does get a little uh, puppy-like at times, and will then turn around and, uh, you know, chew on them, or try to. Uh oh she's pushing it. Oh, Fiona's growling again. She just learned now that she can get Fiona's attention by putting her face all up in her face. Okay? She will very quickly learn that that's probably a mistake. Because if she keeps pushing Fiona, Fiona is going to bite. See, instead of going further and further in and investigating a little bit further, she's decided, never mind, I'll just go back to the other chew toy. Oh, she is going to get work, dude. She's like literally trying to nibble at Fiona. What the f I'm expecting Fiona to retaliate a little bit. What the f Fiona, do something. God, why are you so beta? This is unacceptable behavior. I am literally, I, I am way more aggressive with Kaya when she behaves like this. She does this to me too. She tries to like stand on top. She tries to climb me like a mountain. And at first I thought it was really cute because, you know, she's a little puppy trying to climb me. Yeah, Fiona's like, I'm bored. Get me out of here, dude. Oh, there we go. Good job, Fiona. You f***ing tell her. You tell her what's what. She needs to learn her goddamn place. Okay, one thing I will tell you. I've seen her when, when uh, like, uh, Fiona has snapped at her before. <laughs> Kaya is really funny when she's scared. I know Fiona wants out. She's not getting out, though. No, play with her. Go. The whole thing?
she ate the whole bully stick. Like she just downed it so fast. Oh yeah, it's it's happening again. What? It's really oh look at her growling. She's growling at her. So one funny thing that Kaya does when Fiona snaps at her, she'll just go ah 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 and like run away, <laughs> run <laughs> run away like a fucking goofball crying. It's the funniest thing on the planet i want you guys to see it immediately barking again trying to bite her toes uh-oh uh-oh growling again all it takes is for kaya to give a couple couple nips at fiona and then she'll clamp back fiona is uh five years old six years old too old to be putting up with this shit that's for sure are you not scared of her actually biting Kaya? You're probably right in not being scared, but it gives me anxiety. Maybe it's me. No, I want her to bite her. What do you mean? No, I want her to bite her. What do you think is going to happen if she bites her? That's the point. She needs to learn. See? <laughs> See? That's what I want her to do. This is establishing boundaries. This is where Kaya learns what not to do to other dogs and to also other humans as well. Okay, she's now she's now starting to get short with her. She's like, yeah, she's annoyed. She wants out. If you want to be nice. If you want to play with her. Come on. Chat turned on Kaya so quick now that Fiona's at play. When Kaya was doing exactly all this shit to me, you guys were on board with everything that she was doing. Now that you see how much of a fucking monster she is when she's doing it to another dog, all of a sudden, you start realizing, oh, it's not so nice, huh? She is a fucking asshole, and she needs to learn not to be a fucking asshole. And the only way she can learn not to be a fucking asshole is literally... With Fiona correcting her behavior by, you know, biting back sometimes if she gets out of hand. Usually, they're in a much larger space. And Kaya does this exact same shit. She just runs after her. She's desperately trying to get playtime. And Fiona is literally like, why is she so f***ing annoying? See? That is social correction. <laughs> She's such a f***ing asshole. Oh my god. You can't force Fiona to be there. Everybody, shut the f*** up. Okay, I know she wants to leave. I literally am not allowing her to leave because I want her to be in a confined space with Kaya to treat Kaya manners. Some of you are so f***ing annoying. You've never had a pet. Just shut up. Or you've only had a cat. Holy f***. Chatters are like, I'm a dog empath. And uh, this is not normal, actually. Fiona is a well-behaved dog. So she's not going to like aggressively pursue Kaya and like try to f Kaya up. But if Kaya gets out of pocket and behaves in a manner that she's like unhappy with, violating her personal space is one thing, but like literally trying to nip at her is another thing. She's going to correct that behavior. That is part of the reason why you socialize dogs. That's the reason why I'm socializing Kaya with Fiona right now. You just happen to be also watching it. The reason why I'm doing it in a confined space is because I want them to forcibly interact with one another. If it ever got in a hand, obviously I would take her out of the pen. By the way, look how chill kaya is now she shut the fuck up is fiona successfully got her to shut the fuck up he's not british kaya girl girl come here good girl And just like that, we peed and we pooped, baby. The seagulls, the wind, children. <laughs> Did you see that?
I want you guys to see what happens when she actually gets scared. It's so f funny. There's not enough space here for you to actually see what happens because she's like, it, the funniest part is when she runs around. Oh, Fiona's not enjoying this. Chill, dude? No, it's so funny. When she gets scared and she runs around all goofy. Oh, by the way, she does this all the time with Fiona. It's really annoying. I mean, look at this fucking little asshole. <laughs> See? She shut the up. She barked, 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 and then she shut the up, and laid down, and is now playing with her toy. Look, she's so bored, which is insane. This dog has the entire world, and yet it doesn't matter. She needs even more stimulation than the entire f***ing world at her disposal. She does this all the f***ing time. She does this with me when I'm playing with her, too. Tail chasing actually scares me because uh, my trainer's dog uh, literally f***ing like, bit his tail so much that they had to chop it. <laughs> she's so dumb dude this is what i mean she's so dude so did someone have the clip we gotta watch that again that they had to chop it <laughs> oh fiona Ooh, that was the loudest bark i've ever heard from fiona so far Fiona is my brother's dog, and she's incredibly well-trained, and she's doing a really good job. She's doing a really good job teaching Kaya manners right now, which you guys get to experience as well. Look, look at her teeth. Look at her f***ing teeth. By the way, this is how she is all the time. This is, oh, she just started crying because... On a higher note, leave us alone. Do not come here. We're doing something very important right now. You, oh my God, you always do this. Immediately, she has to come in. She's like, what's going on? Why is there so much barking? I have to fix this problem. And it's like, it ruins it. It's like, every time, every time, every time, she has the same tendencies as chatters do, where she's like, oh, let me come and like pet the baby because the baby is crying. I'm like, no, mom, you're, you're ruining it. Like, she ran, too. She literally immediately ran. She, like, ran over here. My mom did. Um, by the way, Fiona pretending that she's not there is exactly what I do as well. She needs to learn that she can't get anything by doing this sort of thing. She can't, learn, she can't get anything by barking like this. This is literally the most I've ever seen a dog bark. Yeah, she never stops. She only stops when she gets bored of the bark because she realizes she's not getting anything else. How do you decide between a bark to go to the washroom and an attention bark? Uh, it's That's hard to do, especially because she barks for attention all the f***ing time. So it's a bit of a luck of the draw, but right now I know it's not a piss or shit bark because she pissed and shat literally right when I when I brought her outside and then came back. She pee-peed and she poo-pooed, which means that I know she doesn't have nothing in the tank. She didn't drink water afterwards either. She got nothing in the tank. By the way, I muted, but Kaya has not shut the f*** up. I muted so you guys are not annoyed by it, but Kaya literally has not stopped barking. I know you can see it is f***ing insane, dude. She's going bananas. She's going bananas mode, which is wild because like if Fiona doesn't give a shit, I wish she cared and she needs uh, physical stimulation. Oh God. My mom is here. She's taking photos of the dogs. They're going to go f***ing wild again. Uh oh. Why is it that like one person? Oh, okay. Thanks, mom.
They're so well behaved. Anyway, um, why did you wake her up? Well, she deserves it. She was being a good girl, so she deserves to be f***ing rewarded for being chill and good. They're so That's cute so together. Nice. They're sleeping together like little babies. I, I, I don't get it. I don't. Oh, my God. She, she woke herself up. Oh, no. She was dreaming and got scared in her dream and woke herself up. Come on, Fiona. You got to be nice to her. I mean, look at this little baby. Look at this little baby. She's such a little baby. She goes f***ing wild. She goes buck wild for like an hour. And then she wears herself out. And then she, you know, quiets down, chills the f*** out, and, and lays the f*** out for the rest of the night it's pretty funny actually anyway from me and the doggos because marat left fiona here for the weekend we wish you well bye everybody bye